Hey, what's up guys? It's Chelsea going back to Tsukihime Piece of Blue Glass Moon. I know it's it's been like it's been like two weeks um since the last Tsukihime upload. That's my bad. I got caught up with a bunch of other stuff and uh, really weird. I was lazy over the weirdest thing. Um, but I'm back and uh, like I said last time, we are going to go ahead and go to that diner. That um, sorry about that. I had like a itch in my throat. I was trying to clear it out. Um, yeah, we, uh, Satsuki gave us a gift card to a diner that she apparently works at part-time. So, and like I was saying last time, it's good that they gave an explanation as to why she was out, like, late. Like, yeah, giving her a part-time job, you know, makes it make sense, you know? Just a little more than it did, uh, in the original. Um, so yeah, let's go into that diner and see what, uh, what will ha- what will be in store for us. Maybe I'll drop by that diner. The rewards- yeah, rewards card, not gift card. That Yumizuka gave me is still in my wallet. I'm not hungry, but I could have a cup of tea. And I don't want to make her gift go to waste, so I'll check out where she works. Maybe we'll see something we really shouldn't. Potentially. I'd rather not see her die or it will get turned, but you know, you never know. But this is before we even have our knife, I'm pretty sure, so. I doubt we'll be put in a position where we might be able to do something if we had the ability, I guess. The nape of my neck is strangely warm. It feels swollen. Maybe that's why I don't remember where I'm going. Oh, that's, that's great. Night covers the city like water from a leaky pipe. It's far more lively than this morning. The shiny headlights of cars. The throngs of people that the station swallows up and spits out. The number of uniformed students has dropped drastically. And brightly cut, uh, clothed people now own the streets. I rise from the bench I was sitting on. Oh, are we not actually going to go to the diner? Is it just going to be the same thing as before? Where we wander into that alleyway? Like in Arkwood's route? I mean, we're not even on a route yet, but this happens prior to being on, being on a route. You know what I mean. During our Arkwood's route, ru uh, ru you know, run. <clears throat> it's time. I start towards the shopping district. Though I have no reason to go there. Yeah, we're not even going to go. That's, that's a little, yeah, we're back here again. That's a little disappointing. I was wanting to see the diner. But, oh well, that's, that's unfortunate. I slip into a side street away from the main avenue. It's more of an alley than a street. There's no one around. Completely silent. No sign of life. Nothing except the rustling from in there. The light from the vending machines is blinding. A modern convenience at odds with this place. I hurry past the glaring brightness. <clears throat> I make for the darkness. Darkness befitting of the night. To shadowy places more confined and further from prying eyes. I place my hands on the rusted fence. If I can open this and go inside, I can. Yep. And that would be Koneko, <laughs> uh, stopping us again. I know, I know her name is probably not Koneko, but she has the same VA as Koneko from High School DD. <laughs> so I just, I'm, I'm in my head. I've been referring to her as Koneko. <laughs> the voice stops me in my tracks. I come back to my senses in a daze. I don't under understand. Why did I come here? And why was I trying to go in there? She also has the same VA as... Oh god. As a few people. Like, her voice is very... Rec For some reason, Koneko is the only VA... Uh, is the only character that I can remember from the... Like, I know there's a bunch of others. I heard, I remember hearing her voice all the time. But Kuneko is the only character who specifically stands out to me. 
I turn around and find a strange girl standing in front of the vending machines. It seems she wants to buy a drink, but doesn't have any change. Well, you gonna give it to her? I'm not sure if it's the guilt I feel at losing myself, or if I just can't bring myself to refuse, but I hand the girl 100 yen. Yeah, you're, 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 you're welcome. Oh shoot, I just realized, I'm still recording at 30 FPS. Um, I was recording reactions earlier and I record those at 30. Um, <clears throat> oh god, it's such a pain to, uh, alright, so uh, I'm gonna have to apologize now for this episode being at 30 FPS. Um, if I change it now, the like audio sync when I have this part in with the 60 FPS timeline um, would make the audio sync really fucking weird. Um, so I'm gonna just continue this session at 30 and I'll try to remember to switch to 60 next time. Uh, I do reaction recordings prior to this. It's just, yeah, um, yeah. The girl pushes my money through the coin slot and presses a button. She picks up the can that's dispensed. Then scrunches her face into a frown. I mean, you're doing the exact same thing. Yeah, I guess they are. I check my phone. The clock informs me it's 7.40 without a hint of mercy. I only have 20 minutes until my curfew. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get the fuck out of here. In a, pa in a panic, I make it uh, to dash out of the alleyway. When from behind... Uh, what? What do you want? Is she gonna throw the can at me again? The girl calls out to me again. What? The girl tosses the can to drink to me. Surprised to catch it. Didn't she buy this for herself though? Oh, thanks. <laughs> Don't you have to go? Oh, okay. I mean, I see some stuff in there that I like. I don't know, sure. Canned coffee. I'm pretty sure there's straight up water in there. Like, you get water. <laughs> Um, totally not mellow yellow. They just have the M part <laughs> of the logo scratched out or like not visible. It's totally, actually wait, isn't mellow yellow a very like southern, like east coast US drink? Why do they have mellow yellow in a like, whenever I see, like, I watch reaction videos, whenever I see someone react to, like, Kentucky Ballistics, he'll reference a Mellow Yellow sometimes, and I'll see, like, Europeans in the comments being like, what the hell is Mellow Yellow? <laughs> like, uh, why? I, I didn't really question that before, but yeah, why, like, out of everything, you Me Mellow Yellow being one that's uh, sort of being in this game is kind of, uh, kind of odd. But, no, 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 anyway. Yeah, you, uh, you're gonna be in trouble no matter what. Even if you get there at 7.59, you'll be in trouble. I rush away as well. What kind of brother? No. What kind of human being breaks his curfew on the first day? I've got to get back now or else Akiha will rip me a new one. Yeah. I mean, she'll rip you a new one anyway. Tadaima. <laughs> yeah, all, yeah, all, all, uh, all sh not shy, uh, b -b 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 timid. I open and close the door as quietly as possible and sneak into the lobby. I make sure my greeting isn't too loud or too quiet. Mm -hmm. 
It's one minute before eight. My mad dash from the station narrowly got me home on time, but I feel like I'm going to throw up. That hill is a killer. I totally forgot that my, that my downhill path to school means I have to climb uphill to get back home. Oh, hi, sweet. Yeah, we aren't we, we in trouble. I think I should probably increase the audio for you guys just a little, little bit. Hang on. Just a teeny tiny boost. <laughs> Yeah, you're you're in trouble. <laughs> I should have guessed that being called to the office meant Akiha wasn't happy with me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. For, okay. I I I know I know I said this during Arkwood's route, right? But I hate this so much. Like he was he was home on time. Like come on. The thing with that though, Akiha, we didn't even we spent 100 yen. Like, my punishment doled out to me the moment I enter the office without any chance to explain myself. I guess I didn't realize I'd be getting money each month from my sister, and now it's already been slashed. I hope you're happy, old man. Akiha is even stricter than you were. Yeah, right? I feel like this is unjust. Yeah, 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 there was, there was that. I forgot about that. I mean, we quite literally blacked out. Like, I don't know what you want from us. <laughs> like, not much we can do when we don't even remember what we did. This this bothered me too. Like, why doesn't he just tell her, like, hey, I I lost like two hours. <laughs> like, I feel like she would switch over to concern rather than you know scolding. I, I don't know. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. It's fucked up. <laughs> she's a tyrant! <laughs> if she's this angry when I actually make my curfew, I don't know whether I'll survive if I actually miss it. Yeah, no, probably not. I trudge back across the lobby on my way to my room. Despite my protests, I wasn't able to convince Akiha to let me have dinner. Though she did agree to only de to decrease my allowance by 10%. A singular but important victory as an older brother. Right, yeah. Shiki-san? Shiki-san? Kohaku-san? Yeah, she's coming in clutch. Kohaku calls out to me before I arrive at my room. Hidden in the corner of the hallway, she seems to have reverted to her conspirator mode from this morning. What? Okay, okay, okay. We did follow the rules. We broke a promise, but we followed the rules, okay? Let's get that clear. Uh, yeah. You guys said that apparently the second part two of the game is gonna be has a, is gonna have a different start, right? I swear someone told me that. So, because I was thinking maybe, oh, maybe in the second half or in the second part, we'll be able to take that choice of actually going to the diner, maybe. But I swear someone told me that. The second part was going to be different at the beginning of the game. So I'm... So I'm guessing there's just no way we're ever going to go to that diner. Akiya. Okay, 
。それはともかくとして、夕食抜きは使用人として見過ごせません。That's our MVP。ですので、お部屋の方に軽食をご用意しておきました。おにぎりとお味噌汁という簡単なものですが。That's, that's more than enough. <gasps> What a thoughtful housekeeper! It was the same with my phone this morning. She's being so nice to me, even though it might get her in trouble with Akiha. でもいいんですか俺はすごく助かりますけど。はい。しきさんの健康に関わることですもの。Yeah. My, my guess with this, though. Is Akiha knows she can't do that with his health being what it is? I'm sure if, even if she found out, she would act upset but not actually do anything about it. Maybe that's just me, because I know how nice Akiha can be from her root, at least in the original game. So, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm giving her too much credit here, but. Sorry. これはヒスイちゃんも同意していますから、アキハ様に見つかっても、二人で謝れば許していただけますよ。Yeah, it'll be, it'll be, it'll be fine, Shiki. I'm sure. No reason for concern. そうか、あの子も。Hmm. Despite how stoic she looks, she's pretty thoughtful. I guess she took pity on me having to go without dinner, though she didn't show it. シキさん。あの子じゃないのですよ。Yeah, it's he's sweet. スイちゃんです。Yeah, get it right. あ,あ、うん、分かってる。でもそのまだうまく話せないから。Yeah, it's fine. 気軽に名前で呼ぶのは申し訳ない気がしない。<笑> yeah, it's it's no big deal, Shiki. いいえ、それはいけません。ひどいお話です。ヒスイちゃんはああ見えてとっても優しいんですから。うんうん。シキさんもどうかこれからは気軽に。We'll try, Kohaku. Kohaku looks straight at me. Maybe I have been a little unfair to Hisui. She's looking out for me just like Kohaku is. I should give her a break. I'm sorry. 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 それは大変ようございます。コハクビッツミアグディヴニングエンリターンストゥファーストフロー。インマイハート、アイギフテンスとマイガーディアンエンジェル、ディナイティングゲイルオブディトノーマンションエンリターンドマイルーム。オネギリハノーダウトディリシャスイフコハクメイドム。コムトファンダウトディセクシャルヒスウィーウメイドムエンディスタフトウィスライク。I don't even know what would, what would, be, a, what would be a bad stuffing for Onigiri.、Um, turnip? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> After I scarfed down Kohaku's Onigiri, Hisui came to tell me the bath was available. <clears throat> And by the time I returned to my room, it's 9 p.m. It's a little too early to sleep. All I have to do is read, or all I have to read is textbooks. And I'm not feeling particularly tired. If I have time to kill anyway, I'll. Uh. In. The Arkwood's route, I believe I went to Kohaku's room. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what I went with last time. So this time I'll go to the parlor and talk with Akiha. I made Akiha angry today. I'd like to try and talk a bit, and try to cover this distance between us. Or rather, try to tear down this barbed wire wall. But it's late. She may be my sister, but it's not right to show up at a lady's room without, inv without an invitation. Don't you, though? Yeah. I'll ask Hisui or Kohaku sometime. For now, I'll try the parlor. I know she spends time there after dinner, so it's possible I could still find her. Yeah. Akiha! We would like to discuss things. What things, I don't know. 
遠野に戻ってきた実感は出てきたかい Really? This, this motherfucker again? I thought we were done with you. I narrowly stifle a cry of surprise. In the parlor is, this, is the strange bandaged man I met yesterday. Goto Saiki. Konbanwa. Saiki Goto san. Yeah. Saiki dake de i. Namae to you mono. Mitomeru ni atai suru ningen ni shika kuchi ni saritaku nai mono da kara ne. Your cunt. Saiki uh, <clears throat> smiles scornfully as he speaks. Skoshi o doro kimashita. Yeah. I offer a remark of my own, ignoring his obvious provocation. I still don't know the first thing about this guy, and until I do, I won't have a clue as to how I should respond to what he says. Yeah, it is. You have a problem with that? Like, I, I think, if anything, that's healthy. You're supposed to go to sleep like at like 10, right? For like a normal circadian rhythm. Mm-hmm. Well, it's not your house, is it? True? I find myself defending my father despite my own issues with the policy. It feels like any slight against him is a slight against Akiha as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess so. Why are you here? Just get on with it. こんな時間に来訪するのは非常識ではと聞いているんですが。非常識ではないよ。<clears throat> Wait, no. No, you don't live here. I'm taken aback. One's own home. Is he saying he belongs in this mansion? But he said yesterday that he wasn't a relative. Uh huh. Is he like trying to marry Akiha or something? Like what? I am a person. I am a person. I am a person. I am a person. That explains why he was wandering around the mansion and stabbed us in the back in that one dead end. Saiki Goto gets up from the sofa with a low chuckle. He must mean to leave the parlor. Maybe you should sleep. Maybe you'll see how. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This is this is this is this might be the stupidest thing I've ever heard, to be honest. Like, like if you okay, if you want to be a night owl and get, get stuff done during the night, like that's your prerogative. Like you can do that. You, you but you don't have room to judge people over the hours they keep. <laughs> like. <laughs> It's, it's so dumb. Saigi Goto exits to the hall. I hear Kohaku's voice coming from the lobby. She must be seeing him out. 
Based on what I just heard, I think I can assume that my father and Psyche Goto weren't on good terms. Now I'm in an inexplicably foul mood. I'll talk with Akiha later. I'll just head back to my room and go to bed. Yeah, no, I... Understandable. If I had that sort of conversation with someone, I'd just... I wouldn't want to talk to anyone else either. <laughs> it's 10 o'clock. The lights in the room go out automatically. Apparently, things are set up so that all lights in the mansion go out when it hits 10, aside from those in the office. Manually flipping the switch should turn a room's lights back on again, but that's intended for emergencies only. They'd probably catch me if I tried to use my room's nightstand light. Yeah, probably. And I'm not allowed to go outside my room after 10 either. Mm. Which again is dumb. Like, what if you need water? Yeah, one of those little ones. They have a little foldable one. They have little foldable ones about the size of a cell phone these days. This is uh this is this is just way too early for lights out anyway, you slice it. Maybe by like half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> at, at most. I change into the clean pajamas set aside for me and crawl into bed. <clears throat> Ever since I was injured in that accident, um, a part of me has resisted lying down like this. I used to hate letting my body get comfortable, and even more so if it meant sleeping in a soft bed. From what I hear, they caused a lot of trouble for Keiko when I first stayed with the Arimas. I always slept like a rock, but I hated going to sleep. Yeah. I announce it to myself, even though it should go without saying. I take off my glasses and close my eyes. I only had trouble sleeping when I was a child. Now, once I close my eyes, I can fall asleep just as well as... Ooh. I'm pretty sure that's tonight, right? Yep, there we go. <laughs> Ooh. A strange cry washes over my ears like a wave. The howl of an animal. It sounds too high to be a dog. It rings in my eardrums. Is it howling at the moon? There's a gnawing pit in my stomach. The howling brings on a headache. The sound doesn't stop. It's like a bullet rattling around the inside of my skull. Ah, <laughs> I throw on my glasses and open my eyes. The dog is still howling somewhere outside the window. The clock just struck 11. How am I supposed to sleep like this? Um... A dog? <laughs> or a wolf, more, more like, technically? It sounds like it's coming from outside the mansion. I seriously doubt it can fall asleep like this. Yeah, no, that probably, they'd probably be like, what, a, 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 go, go to bed. <laughs> I get up from bed and change into my school uniform. The others must be having trouble sleeping too. I'm the only man in the mansion, so I should go see what's happening. Yeah, it's very reasonable. For sure. I head outside. The night is eerily still, like it's been frozen in place. The moon is hidden by clouds. Even the light from the lamppost is perfectly constant, like splotches of fallen paint on a canvas. Ow. Ow. 
Strangely enough, the howling seems weaker now that I'm outside. Or is it fading away? Doesn't matter. The nagging pain is uh, its causing it isn't in my ears, but my brain and eyes. Hearing it sets my heart pumping and my whole body on edge. A feeling I can't I can't control at all. <laughs> and we're going rampage mode. Each step feels heavy. I've lost some feeling in the tips of my fingers. That's not good. <laughs> and then I realize something. I can see my breath. A pale white against the cold. It's quiet outside the estate. Like someone hit the pause button. My shadow is the only thing moving in this motionless world. I feel thirsty for some reason. The high walls bordering the estate stretch alongside the darkened road. I warm my numbing fingers uh, with my breath, walking towards where I suspect the dogs have gathered. All thought ceases under the distant streetlight. It's something I've never seen before. Something no one should ever see. You know what I never figured out? I don't know if this is still, if this was Vlav getting one of these dogs as his um, familiar. Cause we see, cause he has two dogs during the hotel thing, right? Or is this, cause we know Nero is still in town in the remake. Cause I assume that Panther is his, is, is Nero's. So. So it could still be Nero who's, who we see here, but it could be Vlov too. An incomprehensible sight. A dog half melted. Oh! What is that? See, he has a spear, which makes me think it's Vlov? But you never know, Nero could carry weapons. No, because his... His soil of Genesis, like, and, the, and you know, all his... Not really familiars, they're- because they are- they are part of him, literally hit they're, they're literally him. But anyway, he can still carry a weapon, but I- I, I don't know, because he prefer- yeah, I don't know. I'm- I'm going to assume it's probably Vlov that we're seeing here. That would also explain why it says melted. Because he used his fire to- to melt the dog. <laughs> what is that? A howl dissolving with the dog. What is that? Hmm. A blade stabbing down. What is that? Nothing good. A roar that makes me question my sanity. Or maybe a sudden gale. As the wave threatening to rupture my eardrums disappears. So does the howling, and the dog along with it. Like they never existed in the first place. Dissolved into nothingness, without a trace. Is this an illusion? What I'm seeing is a hallucination. That or a dream. Is this an illusion? A strange figure stands under the light, cut out from the darkness. Is it... wearing a coat? The silhouette in the thick coat doesn't seem to have noticed me standing here yet. My throat grows dry. My whole body is sweating. The night air sticks to my skin. Despite just standing here, I feel a pressure like I'm at the bottom of the ocean. This hot in Holland. Yeah, no, that's, that's Vlob's VA. For sure. A language from a far-off land enters my ears. I'm so dizzy it feels like I could pass out. I'm narrowly able to muster some strength in my legs and prevent, prevent myself from falling. 
Then he gone. All I see is an ordinary empty public road. <sighs> yeah, you, you, you should just go to bed. <laughs> I gasp as my lungs hungrily suck in oxygen. I hadn't noticed, but it seems I hadn't been properly breathing ever since I left the main gate. Yeah, no understandable. <laughs> understandable, really? There's no howling to be heard anymore. I leave behind the terrible vision I've seen. Yeah, you just just sleep it off. It's it was all just a all just a nightmare. I return to my room. It didn't seem like the others are still awake. I guess I was the only one bothered by the howling. Uh, it's strange. My head is still pounding. Because you just had a brush with uh something you shouldn't <laughs> shouldn't have. My fingers are quivering. My whole body shivers. My spine is freezing. If I were to compare it to something, it's like my spinal cord had been torn out and replaced with a pillar of ice. Nausea hits me like a sack of bricks. Is this my usual anemia? It feels like it feels like the contents of my head are being dumped out onto the floor. I see something I don't want to see on the way down. Uh, my good. Even with my glasses on, I can see the lines. <laughs> Bile rises in my throat as my eyes recoil from the sight. The result of trying to avoid seeing them these past seven years. My mind can't take this. I feel sick. The dizziness from my anemia has my stomach trying to escape through my throat. Your, your body's kicking everything into overdrive, including your eyes. I don't understand. As long as my eyes are open, the scribbles continue to invade my senses. Then close your goddamn eyes! Yep, all a bad dream. Yep, mm -hmm. for sure. I somehow make it to my bed. Yeah, I should just go to sleep. That's the quickest way to, to deny the reality in front of me. My body won't move how I want it to. So I'll stay like this, like a corpse. I'll just sleep like a, like a puppet with its strings cut. Oh, okay, yeah, safe progress. Um, that's a, that's a, it's just a short one, but I'm gonna stop there we got one new scene at least um what what day is it that we kill arkwid is it day four do we have one more day of pretty much everything being the same except for like one choice i think so right i think and then yeah, something like that. Anyway, uh, next time will be longer. Um, I just... I recorded like three other things today. And I I really, my voice is dying. I kept having to like swallow a bunch and try and clear my throat. So I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna stop. Next time... We're, I'm pre next time I'm gonna do all of day three in one sitting. Um, I, I stopped where I did last time. Because I thought we would actually go to the diner. Um, I forgot that... Even in Arkwood's route, when we didn't get the um, thing from Satsuki, there was a choice there that railroaded us as well. I think. Or was there even a choice? I don't remember. But... Yeah, no, I really thought we'd go see Satsuki at work, but... Unfortunately not. But, yeah, anyway... Thanks, uh, thanks for watching, and I will catch y'all next time for day three, impulse inversion, and...
again, it's going to be the same as Arkwood's route, except for any choices to make. I'll see different scenes, but nothing, nothing of consequence will happen, I think. No, we, no, we kill her on day three. No, that's what happens. Oh, okay, yeah, no, 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 never mind. Ignore what I said. Because, yeah, because Impulse Invert, yeah, that's when he gets, yeah. No, never mind, okay. I think, I think we kill her to the, this next day, but. No, I got my throat. Um, yeah, sorry. I, uh, uh, that, uh, uh, peace. <laughs>